Uh, joining us now is Carl Rove. How do I know? I have a monitor. <laughs> and there's Carl live in Austin, Texas. Mr. Rove, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank God Brian has uh, audiovisual aids. <laughs> yeah. 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 We just we just talked 30 seconds ago, but he'd forgotten in the in the, in the meantime. Yeah, I know you've got one as well. You got your whiteboard. We're going to get to it in a moment. But first up, how impactful was Mr. Comey's Friday October surprise, talking about how there's trouble in Clintonville? Yeah. Well, we, we don't really know just yet. It's, it was impactful, but how impactful, I don't know. I, we, we Look, we were already closing. We are seeing the race close before Friday. T take a look at the Real Clear Politics average starting last Thursday. Mm -hmm. 5.6 lead for Hillary. Friday, the, the news breaks, but it's 4.6. By Saturday, it's still 4.6. Wow. By Sunday, 4.3. Monday, 3.1. Tuesday, 2.2. And this morning, it's 1.7. Now, that, that's not all because of what happened on Friday. That's partially because of what happened on Friday. The race was closing on its own before Friday. The question is how much did Friday accelerate it? Uh, and, and we don't exactly know yet. Uh, my sense is, look, d t polling on the weekends is difficult. Yeah. Polling on a weekend with a holiday is sort of goofy. So I think we ought to wait until Thursday or Friday when we start getting polls that have conducted after the Friday event but also after uh, right. the Halloween so Paul, weekend. Uh, so, uh, Carl, would you do me a favor and rank the most important things towards this trend? What do you think is the key to this closing? Is it Trump's performance, Hillary's lack of performance? Obamacare. Is it, is it Obamacare? What, where, where do you yeah. rank the uh, importance? Well, so first of all, I, 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 Trump has run a more disciplined campaign in the last couple of weeks, and he's made it about big issues. Supreme Court, Obamacare, rebuilding the military, particularly emphasizing Obamacare, which was helped by the fact that there was a lot of news about how mm -hmm. bad Obamacare was. Uh, and also people had baked in, you know, sort of what they'd heard from Bill Clinton about how crazy the system was and how Hillary had defended it. So I think that was a, that the quality of his campaign being more focused, more disciplined, uh, is, has been helping. Second of all, look, there's a natural tendency as you get to the end for partisans to return home. And a lot more partisan Republicans were out there sort of thinking about what to do mm -hmm. uh, than partisan Democrats. And then finally, look, you, you just saw it. I mean, that, 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 that video of her, that's her. And that is not an appealing, you know, uplifting, positive. She looks angry. She looks upset. She, she comes across as hectoring. That's not a good, that's not a good picture as you, to, to paint as you come down the final stretch. Mm -hmm. Carl, if nothing else happens, if there aren't any more bombshells in these last six days, yeah, who right. wins? Well, first of all, let's remember a couple things. First, the, the real clear politics average probably overstates where the race is today. That is to say, it overstates Trump's support. At this point in 2012, it had Mitt Romney ahead by 0 0.8, eight tenths of a percent, well, nearly a point. Uh, and and this, the, this track is probably a little bit more robust for for uh, Trump than it, than it should be, because it's got a couple of these polls that I'm frankly dubious of, like the uh, USC uh, tracking poll. But it, the race is moving in his direction, and the question is, how, how rapidly is it going to sure. continue? How much more is it going to close? How rapidly is it going to? And then what's going to happen on each side's ground game? Because remember, uh, just as Obama went into 2012 down in the real clear politics average, he ended up 3.9 points ahead okay. because he had a superior ground game. But look, let's 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 focus on where he needs to spend his time between now and election day. Okay. Uh, uh, back he's to the board. He's got to win. Back to the board. New board. Florida, Iowa, and Ohio. He's ahead in in mine in, in the real clear politics average in all those states. He's got to take every one of them. Plus, he's got to take North Carolina. If he does that, he's at 259 electoral votes, not 270, not there yet. So he's got to pick three of these states, which in the real clear politics average range from about one point down to about eight points down. I put them sort of in the order they're reflecting the real clear politics average. He's got to take three of those states to get to 270. And that's going to require discipline. Look, he's not going to win New Mexico. I mean, I like it. I love the state. It's right next door to my state of Texas, but it has about 
about 45, 50 percent Latino vote, he's not going to win the state. So don't be spending time in places where he can't win and sure. focus right. narrowly on, you've got to take two out of three of these states. Where would you go? Uh, down here. Why don't you yeah. pick them? Just pick it for us. Pick the states where well, you look, go. Well, look, the, the numbers, according to Real Clear Politics, would suggest Nevada, New Hampshire, and Colorado, which is also good because when you're, if you're going to go after Nevada, which we're here, he's pretty close, then it's nice to be able to stop somewhere on the way because think about this. He's got six days now. That means he's maybe got yeah. 23, 24 events that he can have. That's the 25, 26 events. That's not a lot of places and not a lot of time, which is why he's got to be really disciplined about it. She's got the same constraint. The problem is she's got some terrific surrogates out there. She's got yeah. Barack and Michelle Obama. She's got Bill Clinton. She's got lots of other people Michelle out there floating around Chelsea's for her. There for but, but he's got to be very focused and disciplined about this. All right. Well, you certainly are focused on your whiteboards live from Austin today where the sun is coming up. Mr. Rove, thank you very much. Thank have a great you. week. Carl, do you write them yourselves you. or do you have it in assistant? write that. <clears throat> don't you recognize my beautiful handwriting? It's <laughs> really highly legible, don't you think? We do, and so Pretty does much. the crime lab. All right, uh, Carl, thank you very much. <laughs>